After spending nine days in the wine region of Kakete, I'm now back in Georgia's capital city, Tbilisi. Feels good to be back in the capital, to be honest. I was here for six days before, and I've booked for three nights now. I think I'll probably extend, to be honest. I love spending time in this city. Now, last time I was here, I was kind of surprised at how little Soviet architecture I actually stumbled across. I wasn't looking for it, but I did the street art tour around the city. Took me to all, all around the city, all the different areas. Didn't really spot much Soviet uh, architecture, but it is here. And I found myself a map from the Wanderlust website, which I highly recommend if you're in this area. And yeah, there's hundreds of mosaics and Soviet buildings. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to see how much I can get done. I'm going to do a lot of walking again. I'm not sure that's the most sensible footwear, but we'll see how we get on. Well, there's nothing Soviet about any of this. Some swanky modern buildings. My first Soviet mosaic has turned out to be a fail. Now, I really need to read the instructions on this map because it does actually tell you the location, the name, the artist, uh, when it was actually created. And in this particular case, when it was destroyed. We're not off to the best of sorts, to be honest, because my second mosaic that I was going to find was uh, supposedly in the metro station, but used to be here. This is a quite a diverse corner, because over here we've got on our left, we have uh, some street art. Got the old Georgian balconies there. Over here we've got a lovely old church. And then just behind me, the National Parliamentary Library of Georgia. Which is a good example of Soviet modernism. It was built in 1973. We're now at the Parliament Building of Georgia. And just to the right of here is an old Pioneers Palace. Now the Pioneers were like kind of uh, the Soviet version of like the Scouts. I did visit an abandoned Pioneer's Palace in, where was it, Chiatora. So, I did speak to a couple of uh, teenagers and asked them if the Pioneer's were still a thing and they'd never heard of it. So I'm presuming it kind of died off with the uh, Soviet Union. But up here there is a Pioneer's Palace. And that's our next stop on our hunt for Soviet buildings in Tbilisi. The palace is gone. I think it might be this building here that's been renovated. Is Tbilisi trying to rid itself of all memories of its Soviet past? Because we're not doing well so far. This looks promising. Let's go and check out what this is. Oh, it's the government of Georgia building. It's built in 1979. It's very kind of modernist. I'm not sure if I'll get in trouble for filming here. The guy's looking at me, but <laughs> this wonderful, chunky example of modernist architecture is now 50 years old. And apparently, it's not just this here. We've also got an old Soviet fountain in here as well. I spotted it here. Oh, that's more like it. Don't know how long it is since it's actually been working. That's a beauty. Dog's having a very chilled out afternoon. <laughs> I just made a coffee stop at this place. Well, it's coffee. Which is uh, actually a nice little coffee shop. Decent price, decent coffee. The one thing unusual about it, which you don't get in every coffee shop, is that they actually um, draw your portrait on the cup for free. Apparently that's what I look like. It's not a bad likeness. 
and now it's time to head right out of the city centre. I've just looked at the map and all the kind of Soviet buildings, there's a few scattered around in the centre, but then on the edge, there's apparently hundreds of them. So it's all about to start getting a little bit Soviet. The building that I'm looking for, I can't find. But I have just come across some street art. Now I was in this area doing a street art vlog the last time I was in Tbilisi. This one wasn't on the map, which is strange because it's huge. Some more modernist architecture. It's the former Central Post and Telegraph building. It was only built in 1980. And I'm not sure how long it's been empty for. Oh, I like this. Check this out. This is the old cable car station. Doesn't look like there's any cable cars running from it now. This takes you right up to the park with the uh, fun fair at the top. Not sure you can go in. and you have to walk all the way around here and then the cable car station will be at the top of there. It's starting to get a bit more interesting now, this Soviet trail. It appears that most of the kind of Soviet buildings are on the edge of the city and I'm about to enter an area now where it's literally just filled with them. Got to be careful where I walk here because there's lots of uh, street traders. I don't want to step on someone's merchandise. Check out the old Rustavelli metro station. 1965. Nice old churches around here. This is not what I've come to look at. Thank you, my friend. And the Georgian one, yeah? Excellent. Thank you, Mad Loba. <laughs> so this one over here is a Russian Orthodox church and just next to it we have the Georgian one. It doesn't say anything about not being able to film out here but we are kind of out of the centre so maybe they just don't usually get tourists. Well, we'll see what happens, take my hat off, that's the first thing. This is the Tbilisi Chess Palace and Alpine Club and this is uh, more modernist architecture from 1973 this one. I don't mind the modernist architecture but I prefer the chunky brutal stuff. Here we are at our next location, the Tbilisi Concert Hall. It was built in 1971. Now this is more like it, this is what I wanted to see. This is a proper Soviet brutal building coming up now on our right. It's the technical library that was built in 1985. Check that out. That's my favourite one so far I think. Fantastic example of Soviet brutalism. I'm not sure what's happening with this building. It's massive, it looks like it's still occupied on the top floors. 
but yeah it's just covered in graffiti I don't even know what it is or what it used to be and of course this is my direction this looks like a good place to walk with flip flops this is a former tea house built in 1964 and now I think it's a bank and we've got a restaurant under there as well Junkie Sometimes you can be walking down the street and you just look into your left and it's all kind of modern shops and you think well there's nothing Soviet going on here but then you look up These are the uh, apartments in the Aurora house It's built in the 1980s Here we have a gallery of all the catastrophe that's going on in Ukraine at the minute Graves here for an entire family that was killed Well there's nothing Soviet about this area quite possibly the most modern part of Tbilisi and just past the most modern part of Tbilisi we have this modernist apartment complex from 1979 let's go and take a look inside Doesn't smell the best in here, to be honest. Check out the old Soviet lift here and all the electric boxes. These apartments are on one of the main streets in Tbilisi, and you can see just by the properties that have gone up in the past you know 15 20 years or so there's a lot of money being spent in this area i did walk down this underpass when i was doing the street art trail for obvious reasons it's absolutely covered in street art but right at the center check that out so now we're in vic park and right over at the kind of top end of vic park is this huge memorial to Georgian unknown soldiers I do believe my next stop is the Tbilisi State University which is a 35 minute bloody walk away yeah fair enough We've still got absolute tons of stuff to go and look at my feet are doing okay, I thought I might struggle today with the old flip-flops, but so far so good. This is where to come if you need some pots. Bit of a chunky old arena there. It's been a long walk. 36 minutes since my last example of brutal or modernist architecture this is not actually what I've come to see what I've come to look at is over on the left I'm just going to cross over because there's no path on that side of the road and this is the Tbilisi University Library and it's brutal so here it is, the Central Library of Tbilisi State University. How it's called Central, I don't know. Because it's way out of the uh, centre of the city. And here she is, in all her brutal glory. 1971, this beauty was built. As a bonus to this wonderful, brutal library, underneath it, we've got loads of street art. Who knows, we might even find a couple of mosaics. Being as it took me 36 minutes to get here, you know, it's the least they could do. Well, this place is brutal from all angles.
I was kind of hoping that all these would be mosaics, but maybe I'm just being greedy. Right next door to the so-called Central Library is the Tbilisi Campus Complex which says was supposedly built between 1967 and 1991 and it's unfinished I'm not exactly sure what that means. Let's go and take a look anyway. Got a few cars around. Security box has seen better days. Well, there's definitely people in there because I can see plants in the windows. This is the Tbilisi State University campus 10th block, built in 67 to 68 and still in use now in the looks of it. I love this. I mean, what is that for? <laughs> to make the place look nice. The next piece of brutal architecture that I'm going to look at is 21 minutes away. The distances are quite far and I've been going about six hours and I've just realised we only had a bloody nectarine all day. Bloody hell. I'm now heading back towards the city centre. So this is probably as far out as I'm going to come today. I'm not going to get it all done today. I've still got plenty more to do today, but I think they're all going to be uh, much closer together now. I'm now at the uh, next location, which is this apartment complex on my left and wow what a building this is this apartment complex was built between 1974 and 1976 you can see the bridge that connects the two buildings and at the other side in fact is there three buildings there's another bridge coming out of this one connecting to the top yeah there's one in between these two as well a bit bold and bankrupt don't walk for this long to make a vlog but it takes him about 20 minutes to make his videos but the effort I put in you always find things that you're not expecting things that you weren't looking for things that you had no idea that existed and I've just come across some now I'm not exactly sure what this is whether this is like part of a bar or something but we've got some uh, art in here of various rock stars so let's see if we can name them Freddie Mercury, The Beatles, Nirvana, There's the Man, David Bowie, Jim Morrison, Bob Marley. I'm not sure who that is, is that Nortelli's PRG? And possibly some other rapper, I don't know. Struggling with the last two. Nice to see Bowie there. That's my favourite one, obviously. This is, wait for it, the former engineering and laboratory building of the Ministry of Rural Construction. And it was built in 1977. This is a nice old brutal entrance. Well, my next stop is the Trade Union Cultural Centre, which, as you can see, is all boarded up. And it's a shame because, well, I'll be able to show you anyway, I can't actually see it. But what is really interesting is the um, mosaic. Now, we haven't really had many mosaics 
on this trip so far, but this makes up for it. Check this one out. Got a nice bonus piece of street art here. Two old Georgian fellas selling cigarettes on the street. And they had no idea why I was taking the photo of the street art. They were saying, what are you taking a photo of? And I pointed to it and I, oh, it's literally right in front of them. <laughs> it's like they've not noticed it. It's now like half past five. I've barely had anything to eat. Uh, I've had a, a nectarine, a chocolate bar and some yogurt. So I was walking down this main street and I just smelt these amazing spices. And uh, I found this place called Ice, I think. And it says multi cuisine. It's pretty much Indian and it looks like South Indian to be honest. So the prices are really good. Got like chicken curries from 11, between 11 and 15. So less than four pounds for a curry. So I'm gonna go for a chicken curry and um, egg fried rice. I always ask for not spicy because uh, I always find that when you have Indian foods like in Europe, it's always more spicy than what it is in England. So I had a Indian in, uh, what was it, Cappadocia, and that's for not spicy, and it was so spicy I could almost not eat it. So I don't really do with spicy food. I love Indian food, but I don't particularly like spicy food. So we'll see how it comes. Here we go then. This is the chicken curry, which looks pretty good. And look at the bloody rice. <laughs> Jesus. That was two quid. My belly is now well and truly full. That's a stupid amount of rice. And the curry was spicy, even though I asked it to not be. So God knows what spice it would be like. And on the way to my next brutal architecture, found another little park. This is the music school. Another example of late modernist architecture. And this was built in 1978. Whilst I've been doing this walk around the city, I've seen numerous little pieces of street art with Bruce Lee, George Gershwin, Nina Simone and Dave Brubeck. They're a cultured bunch in Tbilisi. Well, wasn't expecting these. The emergency services, fire engines, and we've got these four mosaics showing the uh, firemen performing their heroic duties very typical 1970s modernist architecture this is the uh, Georgian Technical University and this is almost bringing today's tour of the Soviet brutal and modernist architecture of Tbilisi to a close I've got two more places I'm going to go and look at and then I'm going to call it a day I've still got plenty more to do, so there's going to be another tour that will be in another vlog. I've still got, quite possibly, the two most brutal examples of Soviet architecture in the city to go and visit. This is the Sports Palace from 1961. And there is actually a dome on top, but I can't actually see it because I'm too close. Well, we're going to end on a strange one. This building here was built in 1958 and it's the Institute of Geophysics and Atmospheric Physics. Check that out. What the hell? We've got stuff here that will have been inside that's just been dumped for years. I don't know how long this has been empty. I'd imagine quite a while. Looks like there's people getting drunk down there. Here. Just over here as well. This is a bonus. Check out the stadium. Got all the old equipment that would have been inside and now it's just been dumped outside. And we've got a cat that can say hello. I wonder how long this has just been dumped here.
lots of glass, so I've got to be careful because I'm only wearing flip flops. Well, that last one was part of the academic city complex and I've just looked at my Google Maps and there were three other buildings within kind of 10-15 minutes that are also part of the academic city complex. I'm not sure if the whole of the academic city complex is abandoned or whether it was just that one but that was quite an interesting one so I'm gonna keep going just for a little while longer. I'm going to go and see the other three buildings that make up the academic city complex. I've been walking now for nearly 10 hours so yeah I'll get a bolt taxi, get back to the hotel, drink some red Georgian wine and chill out on the wonderful balcony at Envoy Hostel. Oh, no. But first, three more, three more. Is that dog even alive? I know this one is at the front, but that one on its back doesn't look too good. Oh, he is moving. Oh, he's breathing. <laughs> Wait to fall asleep. <laughs> I bloody love the street dogs. Well, this looks like the second one, but it's all locked up. Can't get in there. I'm not sure whether it's abandoned or not. Well, this is it. This is going to be my last one. I'm not going to go and check the other one out because it doesn't look that interesting. And it would mean another 20 minutes walk. And I'm done for the day. That's pretty brutal. Looks like it's actually still open. I'm not exactly sure what it is now. It's the Institute of Geophysics. Is it still a thing? Wow. I'm guessing it's uh, flat snow line. The old brutal institute for geophysics. Okay guys, that is definitely it. I'm gonna go and chill out. I have in my bag some lovely uh, Georgian wine made in Tbilisi. So, getting a lot of stairs on this street because I'm speaking to uh, my GoPro. But yeah, that's me done. There's still plenty more for me to see. I have actually booked a few more days in Tbilisi just because I love it here. And I only booked for three nights and it's not enough, I'm going to do another three. So uh, yeah, come and check out the second vlog where I'll be taking another tour in different areas of the city. Go look at some more wonderful, brutal architecture. See you there. Yes.